Welcome to Overwatch League Network's Comp Crash Course for Baptiste. I'm your host, Spider, and I'm here to drop the knowledge bomb on you. So now that we've gotten our hands on Baptiste a little more, and a better environment to play and test him in, we have a much better idea of how his kit should be used and the best places to do so. We'll start with some tips for his basic kit that you may or may not know about, go into what compositions he works well with, and not so much, and then round it off with a quick rundown of how he stacks up against other heroes. Does that sound good to you? Well, let's get the normal YouTube stuff out of the way first. Be sure to like and subscribe, as well as drop a comment below with any tips you've come across while playing Baptiste. Alright, with that out of the way, let's dig into Baptiste's kit a little more. While we did touch on the basics in our Baptiste in under 4 minutes video, I'll give you a few more specific tips here. First up we have Baptiste's gun, the Biotic Launcher. It has two modes of fire, and it works best if you weave these two together, alternating healing and damage. For healing mobile heroes, it's easier and more consistent to aim for the objects near the heroes rather than the heroes themselves. The splash is forgiving enough that you should be okay. And wrapping it up, for his primary fire, aim slightly below the neck to let the recoil do the work for you. This generally secures one body shot and two headshots. Next up we have his regenerative burst ability, a heal over time that lasts 5 seconds. The biggest tip I have, and I'm going to stress this again, this is an on activation ability. Do not let the Lucio-like aura ring fool you. Everyone must be in its radius when you press the button to receive the effect. The other tip is save this for yourself, especially when you're in a solo queue environment. You can't really rely on the other healer, if you even have one, to heal you. So it's okay to be a little greedy with it. Up next, we have Baptiste's Exo Boots, are his main mobility tool. Make constant use of them to take the high ground, where it's much easier to heal and use Baptiste's immortality field while looking down on the action. You can also use the boots to avoid key abilities if you see them coming, like Doom Fist, Punch, Reinhardt's Charge, and Earth Shatter, and so on. Finally, and this helps with the last point, but you can crouch and pre-ready them if you need them. The charge sticks around for about 2 or 3 seconds after you've stopped crouching, so make good use of that. Okay, on to the big one, the one you've all been waiting for, the Immortality Field, Baptiste's core ability. The usage of this ability is what's going to make or break you as a good Baptiste. Honestly, the best advice I can give you as to when to use it is, in general, you should use it rather than lose it. There are a few exceptions, of course, but really in most ranks, it's safer to use it than risk losing someone. Next is positioning of the drone itself. Try to put it out of enemy line of sight whenever possible. This makes it harder to destroy and gives your team a huge advantage. Try doing this when you see two Widowmakers dueling. It really gives yours the advantage. Finally, the drone follows the same arc as your heal grenade. So if you want to know exactly where the drone's going to fall, toss out a secondary fire first. Oh, and it bounces off of walls too, so you can use that if you need. And rounding out the skill wrap-up is Baptiste's ultimate, Amplification Field. Like other amp skills, it works best when you pair it with another ultimate. Tack Visor, High Noon, and Whole Hog all combo well with it. But some heroes, like Ana, Orisa, Ash, Hanzo, and Widowmaker, to name a few, work well with it anytime. Just let them know, and they'll generally come running when you're about to place it. Speaking of placing it, place the ultimate near an area where you have enough room to dance back and forth through, not right on the edge. This way, it gives you a little bit more defensive positioning in case you get dove on. Finally, it's okay to use the ult just for yourself if you feel like you need a little extra healing power. It can be a strong tool to save someone, and you get it back pretty quickly. Alright, now that you know how to use him, when should you use him? Well, Baptiste works well in a lot of comps, but he really excels in Orisa-based bunker comps, especially on defense. Building around the Orisa, adding in a Junkrat, Widow, or Bastion, coupled with a Mercy, can make it impressively hard for some less mobile comps to break through choke points. He also works well with Rhine-based ground comps, such as Reinhardt, Zarya, 76, and Ana. Play a little back from your team here so you can keep an eye on the Ana. There are other comps he can work well with, but these are the two that I had the best success with. 
Some compositions you want to avoid playing Baptiste in are dive comps and double sniper comps. Both of these compositions are too spread out to take full advantage of Baptiste's healing style and immortality field. If you do play him in one of these comps, be sure you're aiming for the geometry near the heroes and not the heroes themselves, like I mentioned earlier. This will lessen the headache of trying to heal that hyper Genji who's jumping around spamming I need healing. For double sniper, he can work well, just be careful of where you position. This actually goes for dive too, but in double sniper comps, I had more success playing near the Widowmaker unless she plays super behind or super aggressive. Whew! Finally into the home stretch. Let's talk about some matchups with other heroes, focusing on some of the more notable ones. This is a list more so of whose life you'll make difficult and who will make your life difficult. First up, let's talk about who you favor in matchups, or at least who you can make miserable as Baptiste. Tracer, Junkrat, and Zarya all stand out since you can use your immortality field to negate their ultimates. For Brig and Ryan, you can abuse the high ground via your exo boots to make sure that they can't get to you. And for Sim, Mercy, and Zen, well, you kind of went out just through smart positioning and primary fire alone, though keep an eye on Zen at the longer ranges. And on the flip side, your least favorable matchups. Watch out for Roadhog and Hammond for their ability to remove people from your immortality field. Widowmaker has an advantage in the long range and keeps you off limits from the high ground, so keep sight lines in mind when playing against one. Soldier 76 kind of shares this trait, but in the mid range. Diva makes life especially difficult because she can eat your damage and your heals and can test you off the high ground. Sombra can hack your immortality field, making it useless, so stay on your toes. But above all, it's Doomfist. Doomfist is your biggest counter. He can knock players out of the immortality field, but he can also dive and kill you before you can react if you don't see him coming. Finally, I threw Reaper in there since his upcoming changes will mean he'll have an easier time to contest you on the high ground. Plus, immortality field won't save people from Death Blossom. It just kills the drone and then everyone else. Most other heroes fall somewhere in the neutral zone, but a couple of quick tips for a few of them. For Hanzo matchups, keep an eye on his storm arrow cooldown as it can quickly destroy your drone. Genji can hit players and your drone in a single slash of his sword and destroy the, the drone in two, so keep this in mind. Farah and Lucio can boot people out of the immortality drone, but you can generally scare them off with some primary fire. Finally, keep positioning in the front of your mind when facing a Mei. She can easily freeze a few people huddled around your drone and keep them locked down until it ends. Well, my young students, I hope this will help you hit the ground running and comp with Baptiste when he goes live. We'll see you next time. Au revoir. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to make Overwatch League Network your home for pro Overwatch news, highlights, and insights.